last question is what kind of work you do. And this is an important question that I want to answer because sometimes it can be a little bit confusing because um, if you go to the website, I've got it broken in down into two categories, right? I've got full renovation and then I've got handyman. And we actually do both. Now, what I am trying to do is have a, a specific team that only does the handyman uh, category worth of work and then my primary team being uh, just the full reno but right now we're in a growth period and so I have my primary team that's actually doing both um, but the handyman tasks again like I said in the scheduling uh, question the handyman tasks are only booked uh, when I have opportunity to do multiple handyman tasks on one day that does not interrupt my primary customer uh, customers job and so the question is, what kind of work do you do? We do full residential renovation. So we do kitchens, baths, flooring, sheetrock, bedrooms, paint, uh, concrete, patio covers, uh, room additions, bathroom additions, uh, different types of flooring finishes, you name it. If it's residential construction, we're doing it. Um, now, there are a few items that I do not do, and those would be, I don't do foundation repair, uh, and then I do not do uh, just regular roof repair or full uh, residential re-roofing. I don't do that either. Uh, again, I said I do patio, I do patios and I do patio additions, and that's not an issue, uh, but we're not gonna, I do not uh, focus on full roofs and I definitely don't touch foundations. And then as far as the handyman stuff goes, that's all the way across the board. So again, I told you I try to book the handyman items all on the same day, that way uh, it doesn't interrupt the main projects that we have going on at that time. But we'll do anything from you know painting a single room or a single wall to hanging TVs to you know running low voltage uh, HDMI cables behind the wall for uh, TVs or game systems. Um, small flooring projects, small tile projects, uh, outdoor projects like fences or replacing pickets or replacing fence posts. So all the way across the board on the handyman stuff and then full residential renovation, we do both. And again, uh, the schedules, I try not to let the schedules conflict. So if you're booking a handyman job, which you can do straight through the website, then what I'll do is I'll book, I'll usually get a hold of you and we'll make sure that that's on a day that I've got other multiple small projects going so that I can just knock it all out at the same time as opposed to you know booking a small project here and booking a small project here and booking a small project here all while I have a big project because again I don't want to take the focus away from the main customer that I've already committed to right so but I do everything that I can to make uh, to make everything work and to make sure that I'm delivering excellent customer service and I try to do all of this uh, at an affordable cost and I know that sometimes it is not uh, it's just not a small project that can fit into the the handyman minimum which is two hundred dollars uh, but that being said if there's other things that you can add to it so say you're mounting a TV which normally I'll charge 80 bucks to do uh, but we've got the $200 handyman minimum. Usually I'll ask you, hey, is there anything else that we can do for you while we're there? Uh, and then that way we can kind of group it all together so I can mount the TV and maybe pressure wash the driveway. And then at that point, you've already met your $200 minimum, uh, but you're getting your biggest bang for your buck. So uh, I hope that this was beneficial. I hope it answered a lot of questions that you might have for me as a contractor before I start work on your house. Uh, and from this point, I would love to see your face and I would love to do an estimate for you. Uh, and I would absolutely love to earn your business because that's what we do. We're project junkies. Let's get after it.